We are Siouxland Proud. This is KCAU 9 News at 1130. Good morning and thank you for joining us this midday. I'm Nick Wilson. Well, Siouxland is dealing with severe winter weather and blizzard-like conditions today. We have the latest on how the roads look in our top story this midday. KCU 9 reporter Jason Toctasian is inside our live Storm Tracker 9. Jason, what can you tell us about the road conditions? Yep, Nick, uh, currently on uh, Gordon Drive. Roads are really, really wide out. So there is barely the lines that seems like it's pretty much a choose guest game driving on these roads right now as far as well. Uh, again, the wind is making really, really bad conditions as far as visibility. Also, those ground blizzards on the, on the ground when it's you no know, basically low all around. Right now, I'm just taking caution, driving up the road. A lot of people are Luckily, not a lot of people on the road. Everyone on each other. That's it from me. All right, thanks, Jason. And again, Jason was on Gordon Drive in Sioux City. Now let's take a wider view of the weather across Siouxland and check in with meteorologist Ethan Foreman. Do you have any good news for us, Ethan? Well, Nick, there is one thing, but it's not really going to be a good, not really necessarily a good thing as we have some sunshine later in the forecast, but not today. Our KCAU 9 studio camera showing the wind on that flag is blowing around like crazy out there and that snow still coming down, still going to be coming down for a few hours here. Let's move over to Cherokee now where you could see that snow is a little bit lighter at this time, but will still pick up in intensity for a few hours later on this afternoon and those road conditions are not good across the area and make sure you take it slow out there give yourself extra time and also make sure you turn on those light uh, those lights on your car as it's going to be quite hazardous out there if you will be traveling you can see in the red color there are some areas especially just south southeast of wayne where it is impassable and that is likely the case on several roads that don't have the, or that or open fields rather excuse me so definitely make sure you are safe out there satellite and radar showing that snow continuing to fall across the region western areas are starting to get a bit of a break that will come our way later on this afternoon and i will have more details coming up in just a few minutes Thanks, Ethan. Well, many Siouxlanders have been busy getting their homes ready for the cold. Plenty of issues can pop up when those temps get down low. To prevent frozen pipes, professionals recommend letting faucets drip at a steady rate and consider covering pipes with insulation. They also say to make sure your furnace air filters are clean and vents are uncovered to allow for airflow. Also, not a bad idea to get a maintenance check on your furnace once the weather allows. It really taxes furnaces, especially if they're kind of, so to speak, on the fence and uh, they're older and maybe uh, not working as well. This really cold weather makes them run harder and longer. So we do see more breakdowns. But again, that's why that preventative maintenance is important. Caitlin adds, remove any snow that's covering your heat pumps and keep garage doors closed to keep the warm air inside your home. Well, meanwhile, Sioux City Police were out ahead of the snow, ticketing and towing snowbound cars that had not been moved since this week's first snowstorm. They say they dealt with more than 30 snowbound cars yesterday. They placed orange notice stickers on vehicles across the city. If a car is not moved 24 hours after that notification is provided, it will be towed. Officials say not moving your vehicle can both create a safety hazard for snow plows and put a dent in your wallet. It's important that those vehicles, especially if you have a if you have a 24 hour tag, uh, get that vehicle moved right away. Otherwise, it's going to get towed. Uh, there'll be a tow bill on top of that. It'll cost you um, right around $100 to get that vehicle out of tow. Now that we're under a snow emergency again, different parking regulations are back in effect. No parking is allowed on emergency snow routes. On other streets, you need to make sure you're parked on the correct side of the road. Right now, that's the even-numbered side. And meanwhile, both Sioux City and South Sioux City have announced changes for garbage collection. 
Both cities say Gill Hauling will not pick up garbage or recycling this week. Gill Hauling says they will be back on a normal pickup schedule starting on Monday, January 15th. They'll also collect recycling on your regular garbage day for Sioux City residents starting on the 15th. And if you're overflowing with garbage, you can put those extra bags next to your bins and that'll get picked up too. Well, meanwhile, the Iowa Democratic Party will still meet in person on caucus night next week, but it will just be for party business. This year could be the coldest Iowa caucus in history, but the party chair says she still expects a good turnout. Iowans are pretty used to rough, uh, rough Januaries and uh, rough winter weather. Um, it's a it's a challenge, of course, for people to recognize what their risk factors are and decide whether they're um, able to get out on a frigid uh, winter evening. But but we're we're made from tough stock, and uh, we I'm sure that we'll have a good turnout, um, no matter what the weather is like. This will be the first time since the 1970s that Iowa won't be the first state in the lineup for Democratic Party caucuses. The top spot went to South Carolina this year instead. In other news, the U.S. is launching strikes with key allies against Iran-backed Houthi rebels in retaliation for their repeated attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the warning from the president. After months of attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea, the U.S. military and multilateral coalition forces firing back, launching a barrage of airstrikes on multiple Houthi targets in retaliation for their unrelenting assault on ships. The Pentagon confirming the strikes. Tomahawk cruise missiles launched from a U.S. submarine, and Navy ships backed by fighter jets hit more than 60 targets in 16 locations, taking out weapons, radar, surveillance systems, and unmanned vehicles. Clearly in the intent here is for the U.S. and the U.K. to take out any military capability that the Houthis might have to continue to harass shipping in the Red Sea. President Biden, who had faced growing pressure to respond but hoping to avoid risking a wider Middle East conflict, issuing a statement Thursday calling the move a defensive action, adding he will not hesitate to direct further measures to protect our people. The response follows an attack on Tuesday when the U.S. and U.K. shot down 18 drones and three missiles from the Houthis. More than two dozen hostages taken after their cargo ship was hijacked in November are being held by the rebel group. According to the Pentagon, Houthi fighters have attacked 27 commercial ships in the Red Sea, where 15 percent of world commerce passes through since mid-November. The Houthis claim their strikes are in retaliation for Israel's war in Gaza and warned any U.S. attack will not go without a response from the Iranian-backed rebels. The real question is how is Iran going to react because it is, these Houthi militants are backed by Iran. These missiles that you're seeing taking off right there are provided by Iran and they have also provided training. And, and Iran has essentially given their approval for the Houthis to do this. And Biden administration officials tell ABC News they wouldn't be surprised if the Houthis respond, but say they fully expect for these strikes to diminish their capabilities. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York. Well, changing topics now. Are you looking for an easy weeknight dinner? No worries. Howard's got you covered, and that's still ahead in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. And here's a look at those road conditions. Still seeing partially to completely covered roads across the entirety of the viewing area. Travel not advised in Nebraska with even some areas of impassable roads. More details are next. You're watching KCAU 9 News at 1130. KCAU 9. We're Siouxland proud.